Hi, I'm Peter Iarizzo from UAlbanySports.com. It is day three of training camp for the University of Albany football team. I'm here with head coach Greg Gattuso. Coach, I don't know if you noticed or not, but it's pretty hot out here. I'm just wondering how your team has dealt with the conditions over the past few days. Well, we, you know, we moved our afternoon practice. We're normally practicing in the afternoon. We moved it to the morning to help the kids out a little bit. You know, we, player safety is of utmost importance. And Jay Geiger came to me yesterday and said, you know, it's going to be bad tomorrow. And, and so we move practice, take care of the kids, and we just switch meetings around. So it's not a big deal, but it's good for the kids. And we, we obviously, you know, we want to take care of them in any chance we can. This early on in training camp, what are the, some of the, the most important things that you're looking for from the team? You know, I, I talk to them a lot about trying to get better every day and, and to make sure we're, we're working, even if it's little things like better steps or better this or better that. And Because it, it seems like a short time till we open, but it's a long time. It goes fast, but it's a long time, and we need them to develop every day. If we do that, we're going to be fine. And, and I think that we, you know, one of the things I like is that we, we, the last two practices, I think we've gotten better, and I think that's what we've just got to keep working at. Certainly one of the big storylines coming into camp was Elijah E.B. Token Hanks and, and his health. How, how does he look three days in? Uh, you know, he looks good. He looks healthy. He looks much better than he did in the spring, and, you know, spring four months ago he's doing good and I, I mean like I tell people his knees help healthier than anybody's here probably so it's a moot point and, and uh, anything that would if something were to happen to him it would certainly wouldn't be back to that so he looked good he broke a long run and he, he's hard to tackle and I think our defensive guys are talking a lot of garbage right now but they're they're in for a uh, rude awakening if he gets going because he's a good back and again I know it's early but you described the quarterback competition is wide open among three guys uh, how would you assess their their start to camp I think that you know our plan was to make sure they all get some reps with the ones. To test of already went today. He'll probably go tomorrow, and Nick Burns will get a shot with the ones and, and uh, Brunson again. Uh, you know I'm patient on this stuff. You can't rush it. I, I, I'm going to give it a good two weeks of practice. If someone if someone isn't separating by that point, then then we'll have to change our plan. But right now I think that uh, someone will. I think that the the work we're getting in a lot of work with the quarterbacks is. And uh, we're, we're seeing a lot, and we, we feel good about where we're at with them. All, all three of them can play. It's just a matter of who's going to be the leader. Thanks a lot, Coach. Stay cool. All right, guys, thanks.